Cage Minds, Micah Frankel, this Friday, LFA 61. And right now, I get to welcome in LFA middleweight champion, Brendan Allen. How you doing, sir? I'm good, man. How are you? Doing well. How you feeling? It's fight week. I'm just happy it's finally here, man. Just ready to make weight and go fight. That's, that's it, man. That's all it's left to do. How much notice did you have for this one? A long time. Uh, I think I've known since January. Beginning of January. So you're kind of chomping at the bit for this one? <clears throat> yeah, man. I'm just ready to go. It's, it's fight week. Had a long camp. And, um... Yeah, man, I'm just ready to do what I've trained for the past six weeks. Does it feel like September was that long ago? Uh, not really. You know, I, I took, it was hunting season, so after that fight, so I just went hunting, hung out with my family, friends, enjoyed the holidays, and uh, back to work. That's, that's, try to, that's how I try to make my year planned, and uh, that goes. So now I'm looking to start off the new year with a, with a good fight, a good win, and uh, see what's next. It was a nice vacation then? Oh yeah, of course, always. And now, going into your LFA title defense, what's the mindset like being the hunted? Man, it doesn't really bother me. I, uh, you know, the hardest part for me for this for this belt was actually just getting it. And now, um, you know, I'm, I'm hungry to make the next step, so I'm just going to be whoever steps in front of me until that happens, and, uh, Hopefully after a win over Moses, I'll get that next step. You've won two in a row. You've had a lot of time on Access TV. It feels normal getting ready, having this spotlight. Yeah, I'm, I'm very used to it, man. I, I think I have the most fights for LFA. And, um, you know, I, I think I've been here probably one of the longest, if not the longest. So it's nothing new, man. I've had many main events, you know, many finishes. Many fights on Axis, so yeah, nothing new for me. It's just another day. And you've been in, in part of some incredible fights, some barn burners on the network. Do you take pride, pride looking back in some of those contests? Uh, honestly, not really. Um, I didn't perform how I should have, um, you know, for whatever the reason may be. And um, so, no, honestly, I, I don't. I, um, I'm happy with, you know, some of the wins that I've had and. Um, but honestly, none of my performances have been as good as they should, so I'm not totally satisfied with, you know, how, how I've performed in a lot of those fights, but, you know, at the end of the day, I still get the job done for the most part, and, um, you know, that's all that matters. Having had those bumps in the road, how much of a motivational factor have some of those performances been or some of those snafus that have occurred? Uh, I mean... After it happens, you know, you can't change change the past, so you just got to move on from it. And, um, you know, a lot of those losses I didn't take, like, a lot away from, like, performance-wise. Um, I took a lot away mentality-wise. And because um, I believe that's what lost me in the fight was just mentality. Or, you know, I just, you know, for whatever reason didn't perform. So, honestly, for me, it's just mentality, and that's what I'm looking to go in there Friday and do a show of mentality that I've been training. And, um put this guy away and now with training after capturing the title getting back in the gym what was the next area where you said all right here's where i need to work on i, I work on everything man up there you know i stay training a little bit as much as i can when i'm at home but when i come here i'm training everything i'm trying to get better everywhere um there's not one specific area that um i'm just solely focused on i focus on everything i have great teammates great coaches and um everybody you know puts effort into me to make me better every single place. So there's not one place that I look to um, gain more than others. Um, it's kind of an equal thing. Do you kind of feel there's anywhere where you've been underrated? People, you're considered very well-rounded, but do you think there's any part of your game that's underrated? I mean, I feel like my like my ground game seems to be slipping a little bit, I, but to me that's just, I was just lazy in those couple fights. You know, they turn into me when I have their back. Um, like I said, it's just me being lazy, and um, that won't happen Friday night. I'm going to be on my P's and Q's and um, do what I need to do. But, um, no, I, I feel like a lot of people underestimate, underestimate my stand-up as well. But, like I said, I, I just go out there and try to get the job done. I try to be just that much better than the person I'm fighting. 
which can be a downfall. So, again, on Friday night, I look to go out there and be 100% the whole time and uh, be on my P's and Q's. Friday night, looking at this matchup with Moses. What do you like about this matchup? What do you think about this one? I think he's a, he's a good good opponent. You know, he's going to be a good good name on my resume. And um, really, that's it, man. I feel I'm better than him everywhere the fight's going to go. I don't feel there's anywhere he can beat me. And um, other than, obviously, a lucky shot like any any fighter has, you know, it only takes two pounds, three pounds of pressure to knock somebody out. So, of course, that's always on the table. But other than that, I don't feel he brings anything to the table for me. And um, I just got to go out there and prove that. I believe that, but now I got to prove that. And you had said there had been some, it sounded like almost uh, troubles trying to find an opponent or get you booked for a fight. Was that the case? Uh, no, I wanted to take some time off. We, uh, I wanted to, I got offered a fight and uh, we, we accepted it, but the opponent didn't. So, um, same date though. So, this was, uh, it was good. It was, there was no, uh, no problem finding the opponent, I guess, really. Um, we had one. He said no. I asked for this fight. Um, just due to his record, he was the only guy on the network that had, you know, a lot of wins, finishes, things like that, good performances coming off of two finishes, so, um, good camp, so, I felt like he was the next in line, a good name for my resume, so, I tried to take the next best guy, and I thought he was. You said you feel that you're better everywhere, but what do you think are the best things that Moses does? I mean, I feel like he, he does his distance well, he, he's good with his distance. And he, he gets his timing as he goes on, but, I mean, he's never fought anybody like me that puts pressure like I put, that's as big as I am, that's as fast as I am, that's as strong as I am. So um, I'm a totally different guy than he's fought, and um, it's definitely going to be a step up in position for him. You've had some of those big moments. You've been in some big fights. Looking back at LFA 50, what was it like finally getting the belt wrapped around your waist after having attempted for it a few times? Uh, it was just a long time coming. I um, it was good to knock down that barrier that I guess I had for whatever reason it may be. You know, I've held a lot of other belts as an amateur. I held another belt as a pro. I, I've accomplished a lot. Accomplished a lot of things, but for some reason there was just something. There was a block for me to get that for whatever the reason may be. You know, maybe it was in the cards or whatever it may be, but it was good to get over that. And, um, yeah, man, I'm just looking to move on. Uh, everything happens for a reason, so um, now now I definitely feel it's my time to take the next step and make waves, and that's what I'm, I'm here to do. Do you feel like you really did break through a wall or hit another plateau with achieving the success of becoming the LFA champion? Yeah, man, for me it's always just, being the best version of me if I can put the guy in training into the cage then I feel I can beat anybody in the world and um that's all it is for me it's just trying to put that guy that's in the gym into the cage and um once that happens you know there's nothing else that needs to be said or talked about because I mean all my all my performances will do the talking and everything for me which I already try to do already I don't I'm not a big talker and um I just try to just perform and enjoy my life Talking about that, how much of a, a process was it to, to convert that and get the performances to do what you were doing in the gym to do with the lights on? It's still an ongoing process, man. I, I don't think there's too many guys out there that can just 100% training to the fight. I, I feel, I, I mean, that's my personal belief. I always feel like there's going to be a guy that, I mean, there's always going to be guys that perform either better in the gym but there are occasionally guys that perform better under the lights i know a couple of them that's great i wish i could be that guy but it's um not happening yet but like i said i'm 23 years old and uh i'm only getting better i've, I've been doing this now for six fighting for six years and training for 10 so you know i've grown up in this and i'm only gonna get better with time man at a young age and i know a lot of people they're they're they want to go fast. They, they want to get to that next level. They want to move and move and move. And how are you able to, still at a young age, kind of savor it and go with the flow of the process? I mean, that's what I was doing. I was rushing things as I was younger. I wanted to achieve all these goals and be the first one to do it. And I, You know, I'm kind of still at the point I want to be the first one to do it. But 
um, it finally hit me that I just I need to perform how I know I can perform, and then I can reach those goals. Some people are able to do it younger than others, and um, yeah, for me it was just being able to form to my capabilities, and that's where I'm at now is just trying to do the best that I can. I was worried about so many other factors and so many other things that um, now I'm just focused on all, focusing on myself and um, how to make myself better. And, you know, um, I, I'm kind of at the point now where uh, with a win over Moses, there's there's something else out there for me as far as a bigger picture. I don't like to go down. I like to go up. And um, like, I said, like I've said, everyone, I'm not looking past Moses whatsoever. He's the only goal right now. And uh, we'll figure out the rest later. But um, definitely looking for my call to to somewhere in a bigger promotion after. 13 fights on your record so far as a professional. Do you feel you've really started to find what Brendan Allen's style is? Yeah, man. I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm getting better every single time. I'm learning new things and adding to my game. Um, I'm just... I'm just looking to beat whoever they put in front of me. I have so many tools and so many ways that I can beat people that I feel like I'm, I'm still one of the best in the world. I just have to show it. That's all. It's just, like I, like I say over and over, it's just me fighting to my capabilities. And you had mentioned when you took vacation, it was hunting. What do you like uh, about the outdoors, about hunting? I, I love everything about the outdoors. That's my favorite thing. I mean, if I could fight twice a year but still make enough money to pay all my bills and go just hunt all year that's what I do um, I just like being in the outdoors the wilderness I love nature um, it's something pure and um, you know wildlife is just an amazing thing to watch and just to be a part of it's uh, very soothing and calming and puts you in reality and that's what I like about it and on the hunting side, do you have a, a specific, do you go duck hunting? Do you go certain game that you're looking for? Yeah, I like, I like, I hunt for white-tailed deer and I want to, I want to start, um, like I want to go elk hunting and I want to, I want to get a mule deer and stuff like that. That's, that's, those are things in the future that, you know, I want to travel and do. And, um, you know, I like, um, the show on Netflix called Meat Eaters with Steven Ranello. And his his friends that he goes that's uh, I that's uh, I enjoy that and I like seeing uh, Chad Mendez now with all his stuff um, for the outdoors I I just enjoy that kind of stuff and that's something that I'd like to do in the future as well I like learning you know using that that game the wild game to cook and stuff with and um, I don't know that's that's something that I like to do in the future as well is you know the cooking with the wild game you know I feel like that's how it should be you shouldn't have to go to a store and get your food I feel. You know, if I kill it, I should eat it. You shouldn't kill something unless you're going to eat it, or obviously unless it's harming you. So um, that's, that's something that I enjoy about life. Hey, and then at least you don't have to worry about whatever additives or nitrates or who knows what is being put into whatever you're putting into your body. Yeah, exactly. You know exactly what's going in. So I, that's what I enjoy. I, I just um, I enjoy, it. like I said, the pureness of it. Awesome, awesome. And one more time, Brandon, how do you make Friday night success, a successful title defense? Just got to go out there and do me, man. Um, like I said, I don't think he can beat me anywhere. Um, so just doing, my, doing what I've been training for these past six weeks, good mentality, um, being calm and uh, waiting for my, for my opportunity or make my opportunity. And uh, that's, that's it, man. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put Moses away. I don't know how, but... I will put him away, and I'll, I'll let him figure out how he wants me to put him away. Can you tell everybody how they can keep up with you on social media? Yeah, man. You can follow me on Instagram at B underscore Allen 185, Brendan at Brendan Allen MMA on Twitter, and Brendan Allen, they're Brendan Allen Allen on, on Facebook. Did you have any sponsors or anybody else you needed to thank or shout out to? Yeah, of course, man. Uh, thank you for having me on the show. I appreciate it. Um, I want to say thank you to K-Ray Construction, Friendly Power Sports, BNA Builders, Jack Rush Reconstruction, um, Turf House, Sucker Punch, and of course all my teammates and coaches at Rufus Sport and Daniel Wanderley. You know, it's been great. Um, I'm just so excited for Friday, and I can't wait to get in there and show what I've been working on. LFA 61, it's Friday night. You can tune in and watch it on Access TV. Again, Brennan, thank you so much for the time. Thank you, man. I appreciate it.